The other for you is opt for the pre-exposure prophylaxis where you can take every day to protect yourself. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Hilda and my YouTube channel is about health and lifestyle where I give you all tips on common health conditions and I show interesting aspects about my life. So I post videos once every week on Sundays. If it's your first time here, please subscribe if you like my content. Also leave your comments on videos, suggestions you like to see and also like my videos. Thank you. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It means so much to me that you're coming back to this channel, watching my videos, leaving your comments, liking them. It means so much. So I'm so excited about this period, the period of Vlogmas. So Vlogmas is a season where YouTubers post videos every day from the 1st of December to the 25th of December. So I would be a part of this. I'll try to be consistent, post videos every day, give you health tips, I'll also be sharing vlogs on lifestyle and the rest of that. So you guys should stick around and look out for my Vlogmas videos, okay? So today is the 1st of December, the first day of Vlogmas. And it's also World AIDS Day. So it did as set aside for making people aware of HIV, encouraging people to know their status, educating people about prevention of HIV and prevention of progression of HIV to AIDS. So in case you're wondering the difference between HIV and AIDS, so HIV is just an infection. That is when the human immune virus is in your body. That is, you're infected with the virus. And AIDS is the advanced illness of this infection. That is when your immune system is really depressed and suppressed. And it's the point that we don't want HIV individuals to progress to because it's very bad, it's deadly, there's are risks of life-threatening infections and the rest of that. So HIV is an illness of public health concern. Let me just briefly tell you how this virus can be contracted. So there are different ways of transmitting HIV from one individual to another. It can be transmitted from an individuals under true sexual intercourse. That is when individuals have unprotected sexual intercourse with individuals who are HIV positive. It can also be transmitted from mother to child, that's the vertical transmission during pregnancy, delivery, or even after delivery through breastfeeding. It can also be contracted by receiving blood or blood products from individuals who are HIV positive. That is in instances where the blood is not screened properly. It can also be contracted by sharing needles, sharp objects with individuals who are HIV positive. So in Nigeria, transmission through sexual intercourse and from a mother to a child rank the commonest ways of transmitting HIV from an individual to another. So I would like to talk to you about prevention of HIV from one individual to another through sexual intercourse. So the first thing to do is know your status. It's very important for you to know your status before you can even try to prevent transmission. Because if you do not know that you're HIV positive, you can still transmit it because if you are infected with the virus, even if you know or you do not know, if you're not careful, you can transmit it to other individuals. So it's important for you to know your status. So try and get tested today, okay? Like let this be your kid to get tested and know your status. So if you test positive, the next thing for you to do is register at a HIV center where you can get enrolled into the system. You can start taking your antiretroviral drugs. You can be monitored. Your viral load can be monitored. So these antiretroviral drugs are taken every day and ideally at the same time of the day. That is, you take it every day at the same time of the day. It's good to, for you to have a support system. So these drugs aim to reduce the HIV replication, that is the viral replication. And when you reduce the HIV, the viral replication, your viral load also reduces and it also reduces your chance of transmitting it from one individual to another. So if your viral load is very, very low, it's even if, you, if you, so if your viral load is very, very low, you have less chances of transmitting this infection from your from yourself to an individual who is not infected okay so another method of preventing hiv transmission from one individual who is infected to another individual who is not infected you are using the pre-exposure prophylaxis known as prep this prep is a drug that is used by individuals who are at risk of getting infected maybe your partner is hiv positive or you're at high risk of getting infected with the virus so the drugs are taken every day and it's very important that if you're using the PrEP, you should be consistent with it. So this PrEP should not be a substitute for safe sexual practices. So even if you're taking PrEP, you should also practice safe sex. You should use your barrel contraceptives. So I have a video on contraceptives and I'll leave a card just above so you can click it and watch it if you haven't seen that video, okay? So another way of preventing the transmission is by post-exposure prophylaxis, that's PEP. PEP. PEP is a short course regimen that is used for individuals who have been exposed to the virus, either by health workers, 
when they have a needle prick injury or by individuals who have unprotected sexual intercourse with individuals who are positive okay so this post exposure prophylaxis is usually taken for a period of four weeks and this drug should be started as soon as possible every hour counts after the exposure ideally it's best for it started within one hour of exposure and it should be started within 72 hours after exposure that is if you're exposed at least within 72 hours you should have started your post exposure prophylaxis to prevent you from getting infected with the virus if you start this regimen the higher the chance of you being protected and preventing you from coming out with the hiv virus it's important to know that this post exposure prophylaxis should not be taken every time so if you're at high risk of having hiv infection that's you have a partner who is HIV positive. It's not something that should be taken every time because this regimen is strong. You look for it to opt for the pre-exposure prophylaxis where you can take every day to protect yourself. So another method of preventing HIV transmission is by preventing the mother-to-child transmission. So in Nigeria, 90% of children who have HIV got the infection from their mother during pregnancy, during delivery or breastfeeding. So it's very important for women to know their status Know your status before you get pregnant. If you're in the conception age, you should know your status. Try to start your antiviral therapy so that, so that your viral load will be low and to, to reduce the risk of you transmitting this virus to your children. Okay. So individuals who are HIV positive and do not have any intervention at all, they don't take anything to any antiviral drug, the chance of transmitting it is between 15 to 45 percent. But if you do the right things, take the right step you can give it to children who are completely hiv negative and that's very awesome a lot to do it so it's actually really worth knowing your status today if you're positive start your antiviral therapy so during delivery there's also the risk of transmitting this virus from a woman to a child so the mode of delivery depends on your viral load if your viral load is very low is a vaginal delivery is very safe so if your viral load is high it's CS will be safer for you. But however, it's, in, it's very important for you to register for antenatal care at a very good hospital. For delivery, your baby is immediately going to be started on a drug called nevirapine at least six hours after delivery. And we should take this for at least six weeks. For mothers who are HIV positive can breastfeed their children without their children coming out with HIV virus, especially if their viral load is low. However, I can also opt for infant formula. But one thing you should not do is mixed feeding. If you shouldn't breastfeed and at the same time also give your children milk formula, you should exclusively breastfeed if you're going to breastfeed for the first six months. And if you're going to use infant formula, you should stick to infant formula because if you practice mixing both of them, you're going to put your child at risk of infection. So children who are at risk of infection, that's who have been exposed perinatally, that's the mother who is positive, are going to be followed up. So different factors are going to be considered to determine if your child will have to continue this drug after six weeks. But importantly, I just want you to know that you should go to a hospital that has these services to prevent the transmission, okay? I hope I've been able to educate you all. Don't feel scared or don't feel like it's the end of the world if you're HIV positive. What you should do is register at a HIV facility where you can be followed up, given your medications, tested regularly and monitored. Okay? If you know individuals living in HIV, please don't stigmatize them. Give them the support that they need. It's not the end of the world and they can live a normal life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. That's day two of Vlogmas. Okay? Bye!